What if I told you that AI could help you work faster, cut through the noise, and do it all with way less effort? Sales teams are saving hundreds of hours of manual research by turning to AI tools like Apollo's AI Power Ups. With AI Power Ups, you can now research prospects, refine targeting, and personalize messaging. The only thing is you've got to know how to write AI prompts that get you the results you need. And unfortunately, that's where a lot of people get stuck. Hey guys, I'm Kelvin with Apollo. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to write AI prompts that will give you the output you need from the start. Because believe me, if you understand how to write prompts, you can unlock any insight you need in seconds instead of having to scour the internet for hours. And before we get into prompts, be sure to check out Apollo.io, your go-to all-in-one sales platform. You can access Apollo's massive database of contacts today for completely free using the link in the description below. Now then, let's kick this off by talking about how you should think about AI prompting. Consider an AI prompt like giving instructions to a new employee. The more specific you are, the closer you are to getting the specific outcome you want. And we'll start by reviewing some of the best practices for AI prompting, and then we'll dive into specific examples at the end of the video. So be sure to stick around for that. So sticking with our new employee metaphor from earlier, a new employee probably doesn't know too much about the company just yet. So it's probably a lot of help if we're explaining and simplifying things for them. You can't just say, hey, do this and expect something magical to happen. You have to give the AI a specific title and a specific scenario. And allow me to show you what that looks like. So here I'm telling the AI to act like an SDR. And this makes sure that it's approaching the task from the right perspective. And you can actually swap out SDR with literally anything. It could be social media expert, financial analyst. The possibilities are literally endless. Next, the AI is going to need context. It needs to understand what it's looking for and when it's looking for it. You wouldn't want anyone to look for news on a specific topic without giving them a time period to reference. Also, it's important to keep the context you provide very concise and brief, which prevents the AI from going off topic. So back to our prompt, we're going to ask the AI to find recent news about the company, which we've added here as a dynamic variable. And we're going to add the context of today's date. And like I said, by adding the time frame, we're making sure the AI is only looking for recent news. You can use dynamic variables like now day and now year to make sure your prompt stays current. And you can always adjust the time frame based on what you need and what you're looking for. Now let's talk about search parameters. If you don't tell your AI where to look, that's like sending someone to look for buried treasure without giving them a map. They're gonna have no idea where to start. So let's say we want news from a company's website, blogs, press releases, and external sources like major publications or financial reports. Here's how you would tell the AI exactly where to go. Okay, so we add search scope, and then below that we specify company website and list blog posts and press releases. And below that we add external sources like news articles, financial reports, and podcasts. Fine-tuning your AI to only look in certain places is going to keep your search results very relevant and focused. It's also important to note that this type of search scope applies specifically to our AI search engine model, which is the model that searches the web. Now it's time to personalize the information by adding dynamic variables. Dynamic variables let you make your prompts in Apollo specific to each prospect, so there's no need to manually plug in names and websites anymore. You can also improve the results by adding any data about the contact or account from Apollo's database, custom fields, or your own CRM. So we're gonna add two dynamic variables here. We're gonna add account name and then account website URL. And you can think of these dynamic variables as placeholders that automatically pull in the right information, which helps you make sure that these prompts are always relevant to every prospect on your list. It's also important to add structure to the output because AI can be like that one friend at the party who's just telling you random stories with no real order. So in this prompt, we'll ask the AI to list the news in a numbered format, complete with dates and descriptions. Or if you plan to use the AI in Apollo, you can always just tell it to return yes or no. So as an example, if you're looking to find out whether or not a company uses a specific technology or not, that's a situation where you only need a yes or a no. So we want a summary of the news item in this format and a brief description of what happened. And with these inputs, our results will look clean, organized, and easy to read, like a professional report. See, aren't you glad you never really learned how to write a good report in college? Because now it doesn't even matter. Now we can get even more precise with the format and tone, or even drop in an email or copy that you want the AI to take inspiration from. This is where you get to tell the AI exactly how you want the output to look and sound. So we'll say two things about the tone. We're gonna say, write it in a catchy tone, that speaks to the sales leaders and use a professional, concise tone. 
By giving it clear instructions like this, you're shaping how the AI will deliver the information. Whether it's conversational or friendly, it's going to follow your lead. Now in this next step, we're gonna do something that most people forget to do, and that's setting constraints and fallbacks. So say you only want five news items, or maybe the AI can't find anything. What do you do in that situation? Well, you plan ahead. So let's tell the AI to limit your response to five items. And we're gonna give the fallback of, if no news is found, respond with no news found online in the last three months. Again, you'll notice us being very specific about the numbers we're inputting. Adding constraints and fallbacks like this keeps everything on track and gives it a plan B. A fallback is like a safety net. If the AI finds nothing, it won't panic. Now, at this point, if you're like me, you're going to think that every prompt you've come up with is perfect as is, but I promise you it's helpful to develop a few iterations. So try out your prompt and see how your AI responds and then adjust if needed. We also recommend doing a quick spot check on the results by double checking them on the web. If it didn't get it right, maybe it needs more detail or maybe it's pulling too much irrelevant information. Just adjust as you go until you hit the mark. All right, so we've covered eight tips in total for writing AI prompts, but remember that not every tip we covered needs to be applied to every single prompt. For example, specifying tone might only be relevant if there's a reason to personalize the messaging. Now, as promised, before we wrap the video up, let's go ahead and review two concrete examples in Apollo. So we offer two models under AI powerups that can be leveraged in two different ways. First, as an AI search engine, which is very helpful when you're searching for information on the web or as an AI text generator, which is best for generating messaging, creating new filters, or summarizing. And here's our example of a prompt for an AI search engine. We have our search scope, the external sources listed, and we've added parameters that need to be considered for the output we're requesting. I've also added an important section right down here for the AI to consider to help make the results as specific as possible. If you head over to our knowledge base, you can actually copy this prompt directly and then modify it however you need. I'll be sure to link to this article right down below in the video description. And there you have it. You just learned how to write incredibly useful AI prompts. So head over to Apollo and try everything out and watch your AI deliver results like never before. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so you're notified of future video uploads. Also, if you have any questions about AI prompts and you want an answer, we'll be sure to get back to you right down below in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.